Hello everyone. Welcome you to this video. In today's video, we are going to see how to create a function to get the product of all the numbers in a given list. Okay. So for this, uh, for that, let me create a list. Let's say list one. Okay, so here the question is, we need to find the product of the elements given in this list. Okay, so for that we need to create a function. So let us see how to do it. So first let me create a list. So now they have asked to create a function, right? So here, in this function I'm going to use math module. Okay, so there is a module called math which is actually used for uh, uh you know to deal with all uh, mathematical operation okay so let's see how to use this math module so let me create a function where i have defining the function name as pro so inside this i'm going to create a variable pro as product and let's call this math module and from this math module there is a function called prod okay which is basically used to get the product of the values that we are going to pass here okay so here the value is nothing but the list i'm going to pass okay so if i pass the list inside this function it is going to find the product of all the elements of this list okay so when this function is called it has to return the final product which is going to be stored in this variable, right? So before defining this function, let me import this module. And now let's create the function. And if I simply call this function, it is going to take the list and it is going to find the product of all the elements present in this list, okay? So now if you see it has returned the product, okay? So this is the product of all the numbers given in this list. Okay, so this is one way of doing it, okay? So let's see the other way. So here I'm going to use lambda function. Let's see how to do it. So for creating a lambda function, I'm going to use a, uh, another function called reduce, okay, which I have to import it from a module called func tools. So from this module, I'm going to import reduce. Let me show you how I'm going to use this function. So basically this reduce function is used to perform any computation on a sequence. Okay, so here we have a sequence, which is list. So in that, if I wanted to perform any computation, I can use this reduce function. Okay, so let's see how to use it. So let's take the same list, which is list one. So that we have defined here already, right? Let me show you the list. So I'm going to take the same list. Okay, so you don't have to define it again it is already done just to show you i'm uh, taking this list here so now let me create a variable uh, let us take a different variable now and now i'm going to call this reduce function so this reduce function actually takes two argument okay the first argument is going to be a function and the second argument is a sequence. That is, uh, here we have list, right? So let me take list one. The first argument is a function, okay? So here I'm going to create an anonymous function using lambda keyword. So let's create it. Lambda. And I'm going to pass two arguments here as X and Y. So here the function is actually has to perform the product of x and y. So let's give x into y and let's close this. 
So if I call this product list, it will give me the product of all the elements present in this list one. Okay, so I'll tell you how this works. So first let me execute this. So as you can see here, we have got the same output, right? So let me tell you how this works, okay? So here we have created a Lambda function, okay? Where I have passed two arguments, X and Y. So here this X refers to the values that is present in this list, okay? And this Y is going to take, this Y is actually the result of Previously computed value. Okay. So here we are going to perform x into y, right? So x is going to be 1, 1 into 1, which will be 1, right? So now the next x value is nothing but 2. So we will have 2 into. So y is going to be the result of previously computed value, right? So the previously computed value is 1. So I'm going to take this 1 here. So 2 into 1 will be 2. And now the x value will be 3. So 3 into 1 sorry, 3 into the previously computed value, which is 2. So that is equal to 6, right? And now the x value is going to be 4. So 4 into the previously computed value is 6. So 4 into 6 is equal to 24. So this is the final product, right? Which will be the output. Okay, so when this code is executed, it is going to give you the final product. Okay, so this is how it works. So in this way, you can find the product of all the elements of a list.